Technician 775 here. We've got our deadwood stove out. Actually, I uh, tried it a little bit yesterday just to kind of get the hang of lighting a fire in it. And what I've got, besides probably not enough lighting, is uh, some small kindling uh, pieces that I made up. I've got a pizza oven in the background here, and we'll do a, a segment on that probably a little bit later on. And um, uh, I use a lot of this wood for that. <coughs> and I kind of cheat a little bit. People use um, uh, paper, and you know, to get this get this going, which is okay. But uh, I was covered with ash yesterday, um, and this because I had my nose stuck up in the uh, in the stove there, probably where it shouldn't have been. But uh, what I'm going to do is take a little bit of this, and it's just a liquid fire starter you get at the, any uh, big box store, uh, a fireplace shop uh, uh, sorts. It's a uh, fire gel starter, squeezed and light. Uh, and uh, some uh, off the wall brand and I'll just take and put a little bit in here in just like that and that actually should get it started hey we have fire already hot dog okay wow gotta watch it burn my mustache off and okay I'll drop a little piece here and actually put a little few little pieces in in like this uh, yesterday it was more of a it looks like the three stooges uh, lighting the uh, fire and and uh, and going around going around with this thing it's actually a pretty cool stove the, the quality and craftsmanship is excellent on this i do have to give the the guys from um uh, <clears throat> little old town in texas there uh thumbs up on this uh stove uh, you know when i bought it i wasn't sure you know i saw a couple of reviews oh yeah this and that and everything else it's like okay well what some people call tip-top uh, quality i might not so I'm going to do something pretty simple like I did yesterday. Actually, uh, yesterday I ended up uh, cooking some eggs, and uh, we're going to have just a little bit of a wind issue. Um, I may have to turn the stove just a little bit to uh, get the get the natural flow of, of, of air going through this like you would any stove. That's nothing special, you know, about, about that. So, and it looks like our, our wood is uh, kicking off pretty good. And this is not like a uh, stove you have in your house where you just turn it on and the sense it's on. It's the old timey type where you have to actually, you know, put the wood in, and which I don't mind. Uh, you know, I kind of bought a half a fire bug anyway, so, um, and a bunch of little pieces in there, and they'll start up and, and get to going really good. So yeah, yesterday I had uh, eggs. I cooked some eggs, and I put a couple of uh, big, big, big jalapenos on there. These these are some big chilies. Uh, <clears throat> and they were good. I, I mean, I, I fire roasted them. I grilled them right up on the top, uh, peeled the skins off of them, chopped them up, and put them in the eggs. And wasn't a bad, uh, wasn't a bad little meal there, you know. So, but the wood, uh, like I said in some of the previous videos, you can get this wood from the cabinet shops. They will take and uh, have just slivers and pieces and odds and ends and such. And um, I've taken in the past and and picked up everything they had brought it home and i got a, a cut off saw and i just taken uh, put it uh, cut it in a different lengths but this is pretty much the standard length and the reason i use that on the bottom of my pizza oven i have my wood storage and i could put you know wood on each side of it left hand right hand and it doesn't stick out too far and it works out pretty good for that but for these right here i think i would probably go with maybe a 12 to 14 inch piece that way you have some in the outside right here you can push in and uh, Keep it going pretty easy. This is a little bit short for that, but but it still works. And it looks like this. Uh, I guess we get better with uh, after, you know practice makes perfect. So we've gotten better with the uh, with the starting of the fire. And as it uh, burns down, I've got the little small tips. Uh, they're kind of pointy as as they burn down. I push the small tips up towards the front right here, and put just a uh, a little bit bigger piece in there. And these are cut right about one inch by one inch, I guess. And this is kill dried uh, wood, which means that most of the moisture of the wood's out. It's not like going to cut down a tree and let it air dry. This has actually been been, been through a uh, a kill uh, of some sort. <clears throat> and they dry the wood that way they can work with furniture, and the furniture won't split uh, after the wood dries because the wood's actually already dried. So I'm going to try to set this in here and get it going and see how it comes out maybe too big of a piece uh, right off the right off the get-go so i may have to put another smaller piece in there to kind of keep get this going but i'll try it if it works fine if it don't well you know nothing no, no major thing there 
So what I'm going to do at this time, I've uh, pretty much about told you everything I need to tell you here. I'm going to go ahead and cut the video off and get the fire going. And I'm going to heat up uh, my trusty old uh, pan here. And when I'm ready, I'll put the video back on and spray a little bit of uh, butter flavored uh, whatever and throw the eggs in there. And after we'll fire roast those chilies and kind of get you uh, an idea what this puppy's capable of doing. Yesterday didn't have any problems. It really, uh, really did a, a good job. It's just uh, more operator error than anything. Uh, but, the, but the stove actually itself is uh, well designed. So with that said, Technician 775, be back in a minute. Okay, I've got the pan on here. It's uh, pretty hot. I'm gonna take and do an egg. My uh, lovely uh, wife, uh, assistant, um, is going to take and make up a hamburger patty. And in the meantime, I'll take and uh, cook a, a couple of eggs. We'll uh, roast some chilies. Okay, we got sizzle. And one more here. Okay. All right. Well, my table's not exactly level, but that's that's par for the course, especially with me cooking. So, all right. With that, we'll take in a little bit of Tony Sacheres. And if y'all don't have Tony Sacheres available, just any good quality, uh, all-purpose uh, seasoning. There's several of them out there, different brands. So I'll just kind of season that up a little bit. Making you a patty there, pumpkin? All right. No. Oh, maybe one for tomorrow. Okay, our fire is still going good and the lighting kind of sucks right here because I'm in the wrong spot of the, I'm on my outside uh, patio and uh, I would be right between the lights where there's no light. So what I may have to do is uh, check things out. Okay, stove's hot. So that's not a possibility. Uh, I was gonna move it, but... Uh, <laughs> Did you touch it? Yes, I touched it. That's not too smart. Oh, well. All right, eggs are, uh, if you like them sunny side up, they are almost done. And our fire still going uh, fairly good. It uh, wasn't roaring as, as like it was earlier with the smaller pieces in there. I'll probably put a maybe another little small piece in there to kind of keep things uh, going. I did put a little small piece in the middle, but the two big pieces uh, did catch and it's uh, giving us a pretty good flame. So um, it does, but I don't have them on here because of the, the that's what I like about this is the tabletop model or you can actually put it on the ground because it's elevated. So either way, is, uh, that's one of the neat things about this uh, stove. So, And again, it's uh, made over in uh, just uh, northwest of uh, Austin. Watch the uh, dog don't grab, jump up there and grab your uh, hamburger patty because she wouldn't grab mine. Uh -uh. Anyway, so if the camera goes uh, flip, we'll, uh, we'll, know, uh, we'll know why there. Um, okay, so... Uh, yeah, they were, they're, they're circling. The, uh, the uh, Indians are circling the wagon over here, that's for sure. <clears throat> so, uh, I'm kind of going to do maybe, I don't know, I'm going to see if I can do a flip on this. Alrighty, I don't know if that was on camera or not, but I doubt if I'll be able to do that again. Anyways, so I'm going to take and put these eggs in the plate here in just a second because I don't like them cooked a whole bunch. All right, those are going in. Patty, uh oh, no, you can't have this. Okay, maybe just say a skosh. More of if and if it gets into down into an emergency situation, you know, you're gonna have to have some things that's available uh, per se. Um, a little bit of the. Uh, spray uh, oil in a can that's real handy you can throw it in a car if you have to if you have to get on the road uh, this stove is portable you can pick up just about anything along the way uh, which is an excellent idea to cook with uh, find you a secluded place and uh, and cook um, although smoke does draw but if you're secluded enough you should have no problem at all providing uh, some substance for your uh, family so okay we've got a little sizzle action going there and I'm not going to go through the whole uh, video of watching these hamburger patties cook. So I'm going to take and turn it off and be back in a few minutes. 
Okay, we're back again. Uh, burgers seem to be uh, cooking up uh, just fine. I don't know if I can do a double flip. The uh, fire is going good. And I'll probably have juice and hamburgers and all over me. But we'll try it anyways. Okay, I got the one I wanted flipped over. So I guess the, uh, the burger, uh, burger guides were watching over me, you know. Um, but anyways, on this stove right here, what I did and probably doing something wrong with this operator error, but I put a few pieces down where the air box is to kind of assist the uh, the big pieces, you know, to get them to going good, and they actually are going good. So it may be a little bit of, a little bit of a trick you can use uh, if the big pieces don't catch real good. Um, put a little bit, a few of these little small strips like this underneath them, where some of the hot coals and stuff are, and they'll ignite and kind of assist the big ones to. Uh, get going and they actually are going pretty good so we've got good fire underneath this uh, baby right here and uh, we're cooking it's actually doing pretty good I you know I give this this stove a uh, thumbs up um, two thumbs up a five-star rating um, whenever I was a helicopter mechanic we used to go out on fire contracts in the uh, summertime and we tried all kinds of camping gear because we used to be out in the bush for six months at a time and I can tell you what does work and does not work. Although I don't know if they'd let us have this open fire type of thing like this, but it's not really an open fire, but this would be great for RVing. And um, I'm actually gonna contact these guys here because we do a lot of RVing and see if I can't uh, sell a few of them for them. So uh, if you guys see me selling these things, I really like it because I won't mess with it unless I really, really, really like it, you know, so. And for the price, you can't beat it for good American made quality. Uh, couple of guys from uh, down home Texas there so can't beat that either with a stick so but anyways I'm gonna go ahead and uh, end the video uh, well maybe not before I put the uh, yeah the burger patties are cooking really good uh, I mean they're they're doing they're doing their job um, I kind of wanted to roast the chili so <clears throat> I may shut the video off just for a minute and come back okay I finished up the uh, patties and uh, what I've got on right now is the, uh, oh boy, good thing I didn't have this thing too close to the uh, fire right there. Okay, we got to be smarter than the stove there, Steve, so, all right. Um, yeah, I've been a mess right there, but I got the fire starter, so safety first, people. Um, all right, with anything, safety first. Okay, so we got safety going on, and we've got the, uh, the chili pe peppers on there gonna get fire roasted the ones I did yesterday were outstanding I mean they were really good and I just roast them until they uh, charred I've got some good uh, good wood burning under there and it does burn uh, pretty good with uh, probably half inch by half inch I think would be a better a better size stick than the one by one and this is gonna be a uh, uh, just something we're gonna have to find out with uh, trial by error I guess how do you say that you know so I don't want to get this the fire too hot and roast these things too fast, but I do want them to be able to cook through. And we've got a good fire going here. All right. And a pair of tongs uh, helps with the uh, sticks; they don't burn yourself, you know. So, and um, oh yeah, good fire going. I've got a couple of the cats circling the uh, wagons over here. Wanting my uh, want my my hamburger patties. So with that, oh yeah, this is about perfect. And it's just a little bit playing with the fire to keep it uh, to get it going, you know. So I wanted y'all to have a instead of just a little short video, something where we actually really work with this thing. Uh, up one side down the other you know a complete uh, video because too many times to make the video short to understand why they do it you don't really get the full gist of everything and kind of wanted to do that because too many times you left wondering well what about this what about that so but a combination of the large sticks and the small sticks and uh, right wrong or indifferent you know putting some of the smaller sticks underneath where the little air box is the kind of right on top of the coals and underneath the big ones it really helps uh, helps out quite a bit and it looks like uh, just maybe one or two little small ones now and again would be a uh, good uh, a good out for this thing a good fire so 
And it's like, it was, like with anything else, a little practice. Uh, once you use it, the better off you're going to get. So uh, it's like uh, yesterday, um, you know, it looked like the uh, Three Stooges out here trying to take and work this thing. And uh, today it's gotten a whole lot easier and a whole lot better. So <clears throat> I've got a couple of coaches out here too. Uh, look in the eye. Uh, both eyes are on the uh, hamburger patties there. And it knows this is going 90 to nothing. So I'll have to uh, maybe break away here in a minute and and protect my uh, protect my food. At least my big dog's not out here. All right, a little extra fire right there, a little stick, probably help out just a little bit more. You know, little sticks burn pretty quick. That's what they tell you. The smaller sticks, the hotter the fire, and I and I actually see why why they say that because it you know, it's true. So. Uh, and especially if you kind of split them off at an angle where you've got just a, a little bit better fire, you know, the thinner pieces to where it gets bigger and uh, it seems to work pretty good like that as well. So, all right. Yeah, patties are ready, pumpkin. And it's been, what, 24 years of uh, honeymooning? Yep. Uh huh, you see. You want to take both of them with you? Yep, they've uh, they've got this. Uh, they got their names on them already. Who wants what and what piece? So okay, but a uh, shopping uh, basket like you get. Uh, I'm not that I say I would take and actually procure a shopping basket, but if you happen to find a place maybe in the flea markets that's uh, got the shopping baskets uh, like this, and maybe get a good shot later on, you can put your wood in there and uh, have everything all in all in one piece. When I was working in Jamaica, we worked all over the place. I brought back uh, a couple of the uh, machetes, and those actually work excellent. And I'll, when we do a pizza segment here, I may do a pizza segment this weekend. When uh, when I do a pizza segment, there, I'll show you the machetes that we brought back. And these actually, these guys actually use these things day in and day out. Um, unbelievable. And I, I ended up ended up cutting myself with them, but yeah. They were extremely proficient with them. You didn't want to take and piss them off, that's for sure. Oh, excuse my language. I've got to keep this clean, so. You don't want to actually uh, get the guys uh, in Jamaica, you know, aggravated, so. And there was a couple of guys who, that's what they did uh, for security. They, they uh, you had to hire security a lot of times because of the business that we were in, we weren't very well liked. They didn't care for us burning their ganja plants, their ganja crops, so. And I probably uh, just marked myself, but hey, I may have to edit that part out. <clears throat> These are charred pretty good. So with that said, this is Technician 775 saying thank you very much. I uh, do give this um, stove right here a real high rating. Uh, I don't uh, give ratings very lightly. Uh, I've been an inspector for a long time, so I know good quality. I know it works. I know what my limitations are, and we'll get better and better and better with this. A black iron pot, a little extra time because I'm doing this in the afternoons when I get off well, get off of work. Black iron pot, which holds the heat really well, and some good vittles, and you've got actually a good meal. So with that, Technician 775 saying thank you very much. Keep up the uh, comments. Don't hesitate to, to, to comment. Um, and please subscribe. And we're signing off.